Hi, I'm Robert with OS Trading, and we're happy to be working with InMotion Hosting to bring you this tutorial. Thanks to InMotion also for providing the server space for the demonstration site used in this tutorial. Site security is, of course, an important detail of any website. However, as a website becomes more and more complex, there become more opportunities for security vulnerabilities. This is just a matter of probability. So when you're working with a complex content management system like Drupal, a bit of diligence is required to ensure you're not doing anything that's going to leave your site vulnerable to attack. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the basics of Drupal 8 security best practices. So let's begin. The very first step you should take to making sure that any Drupal site you manage is secure is to subscribe to Drupal's security updates. We can do this before we even install our website. So go to drupal.org, and if you don't have an account on drupal.org already, go ahead and register for one. The buttons to do so will be right around here, where you can see my logout button. It's a quick and painless process. Go ahead and pause if you need to. And once you've done that, you can come back to drupal.org and click view profile. You can also just navigate to drupal.org slash user. And granted, this could probably be placed in a better location. It's a little bit hidden as it is. But if you go to make sure you're on the profile tab, click edit, my newsletters, make sure security announcements is selected here. Make sure you save after you've done that. And apparently, at some point in the future, they're going to try to move this to the account sub tab over here. So if you're viewing this tutorial a bit later than it was created and you don't see my newsletters or you don't see anything here, check account instead and scroll all the way down and you'll see a list of things you can subscribe to. And it should be here if it's not in the previous place. When you subscribe to Drupal's security announcements, you'll get an email anytime a security update is released for Drupal itself or any Drupal module, whether it's a core module or a contributed module. Here at drupal.org slash security, we see all of the most recent security releases for Drupal core. Here we have one for Drupal 7.x that was released on October 21st of 2015. We can click on any of these to get more details. You can also see an assessment of the level of risk inherent in the vulnerability that's being patched. And then here you can click on contributed projects. And these will be releases for modules, or contributed modules rather. These will be a bit more recent. They're found a little bit more frequently than vulnerabilities in Drupal core. Subscribing to this list will send you emails anytime security vulnerabilities are discovered and are released, just like we see here. And it'll do so for any supported version of Drupal, which is the most two recent versions. So since Drupal 8 is out, and it's pretty new, and Drupal 6 is going to be phased out within the next couple of months, you'll only see Drupal 8 and seven security updates on this list and in the security emails. And that'll change, of course, when Drupal 9 comes out eventually. You can also follow at Drupal Security on Twitter. I don't recommend leaving this your only method of keeping up to date with Drupal updates because due to the nature of Twitter, you're probably going to miss them quite a bit. So I would use this as a second way to follow security updates, sort of to supplement the email list. Finally, if you go to drupal.org slash security slash secure hyphen configuration, if you scroll down a bit here, you'll see links to a few RSS feeds that will also provide you that information. It's very important that you subscribe to security updates because when a security update is released, everyone knows about it. So if your site has a vulnerability and you don't update it when 
the security patch is released, you can almost guarantee that your site will be hacked if it uses a module with the vulnerability in question or if it's a Drupal core security update. Unfortunately, not everyone who runs Drupal sites knows about signing up to the security announcement list. And I see people all the time on forums or elsewhere learning about security patches that were released months ago. And if that's the case for you and you're months behind on applying a security patch, especially for some of the more critical security fixes, basically guarantee that your site has already been hacked. So this is the very first step to running a secure Drupal site. 